Welcome to the tool probing video for Mark III. The uh, equipment used in this video is a tool probe uh, which can be purchased from IM Services for about $225. The machine is a Bridgeport Series 1 and uh, the part that we're probing off from is just a block in the vise. We've got two tools that we're going to set up. But the first thing we need to do in setting up our uh, tool probing is we need to get a distance from the top of the part to the probe. Uh, I just do this by jogging my axis down on top of the part and uh, touching it off like I normally would if I didn't have a probe. So I'm on the top of the part right now. I'm going to hit zero in the DRO or hit the zero Z button. And I'll pick it back up off the part and I'm going to move my uh, tool just over the probe. Now that I'm over the pro, I need to run my script and uh, we'll take a look at the script. This script is available on the web page. And it's probe. Okay, we're going to single step through it and I'll kind of walk you through what it's doing. The first thing it does is it gets Z move. This is how far it's going to move during the probing cycle. The Z position, it's getting the position of the Z axis right now which is uh, the second DRO. It's getting the tool number, which is the, uh, this is your OEM DRO number. And the Z offset value, this is actually what we're going to be setting. And since the tool is equal to zero, it goes into this section of code because of the if statement. If the tool was not zero, it would go to this. Uh, this is now going to display this text inside a message box. And what it's asking is, did you zero off the part first? We'll just say yes. And that's because we need to set the top of the part to zero to get the distance from the top of the part to the top of the probe. And it's checking to see if the response is six. If you didn't say yes, the response would not be six, and it would skip over all of this, and it would give you this error message right here. So we'll step down through again. Here it's calculating where it's going to move to. And this one's actually the probing cycle. So we'll let it probe. And now that we've got our actual distance that we've probed, which is stored in the uh, Mach 3's variable tables as 2002, x would be 2000, y is 2001, storing it as z position right there. And now we're setting the variable 1000 to Z position for what we just got. And this will be stored, and we can use it at a later time. So the last part of our script is going to bring the axis all the way up. Now we're going to change the tool and do a different probing sequence. Uh, do a different probing sequence because we're going to change the tool number to tool number one. So say I ran my program with that first tool cutting my part, and I want to change the tool two, or one, I guess we had said. And now when I run this script, it goes to a different part of the code. i got to bring my tool tip down close to the probe, and I'm going to run this script. So it goes and loads all the same stuff, and you'll see Z offset is the value that we had got uh, last time. And you can see that it skipped over all this because tool is equal to 1, not 0. It's going to get the old position, which the reason why we're doing this is the Z position is where we are right now. We're going to get this because what happens if we actually miss our probe, and that's what it's going to do a message down here and say that you didn't hit the probe. So that's for a little bit later. Now we're going to calculate where we want to move to with Z position here. And we're going to do our probing cycle. Okay. And we're going to get the same variable that we got last time. And once we get this variable, we're going to move into where that variable is. So we can see that uh, it wants to move to the uh, negative, a, uh, negative 
8674. And as soon as we press step again, it moves into position because that's where the probe actually made contact. Uh, Mark 3 is checking that at about 24 kilohertz. And the Z position is not equal to the old position minus the move. So it skips over that. And it's going to set the Z axis DRO to, to the Z offset value, which is what we got when we calibrated it in the beginning. And then it's going to pick the spindle all the way back up. And if I jog my tool now over my part and down, I can see that right there it's actually just about touching the top of my part. So that's generally how the uh, tool probing macro goes. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this quick little video.